Imagine you could get a kid today to aspire and to want to be part of a, a movement, a party, that's got something real, something teichendik. Take for example when you go to, a, to sports. Sports becomes a real, it's a movement that's built around it. And you feel like you're part of this bigger picture. The trouble is that which you're a part of is not so real, it's not, there's no substance to it. What we want to try to achieve over here is to allow children to be part of a bigger movement. So imagine a kid joins Mayan Israel and he gets this beautiful little card and the card gives him, uh, he has got to sign the card and he gets um, ranks and he's growing up and higher and he is imbued with a sense that there's a mission and the mission is to bring Hashem into this world. What we're doing is taking children and showing them how every part of your life is part of that bigger picture of bringing God into the world. It's called Bechol Drochecho Da'eyu. Know Hashem, recognize God in all your ways and everything you do. So it's not only in the sense of when you're learning Torah, it's, it's when you're doing Torah, when you're doing mitzvahs, everything you do, when you're woodworking. We're not about woodworking. We're about that you can use woodworking also for the sense of a godly purpose. I can use my skills, my drama skills, my singing. I can use it for the sake of God. Our son Yudarie just recently was accepted as a member in the Yeshiva Boys Choir. And none of that would have happened without him building his confidence and his ability to sharpen his, his latent talents. And we thank, we thank Rabbi Vigler and the whole team for the tremendous work that they do and for thinking of bringing new projects all the time to the community. It's about giving the child a sense of mission, a sense of purpose. When you access the soul, it's hopeful, optimistic, promising, future-oriented, elevating, spirited. I think it's extremely important to have to see this as a backdrop, as a background, and the knowledge, uh, because that's, that's what we need in our, in our everyday lives. Every Hasidic idea you could find in a Chazal, the Gemara says in Yerushalmi, in Tainus, Perek Zion, about Shmuel Hanavi, I come to Tanya Share every morning because it makes my entire day more fulfilling and I think Mayan Yisrael is a great place. The Mayan Yisrael marching band is not about drumming and it's not about the band. It's that if you walk in the street and you parade and you take these drums and you're ta -da 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 and you're making this big, tr big drumming thing and you're walking with a sign that says something about Yiddishkeit, something Jewish. So when you're marching in the street, you're parading your Judaism. What we're doing is creating that environment, that aura that the learning can penetrate, that everything can work, that it can take place within that, within the system which, which we're creating. And we need to give the kids what they want, to, what they want and what they need, because they want to come. And we need to make it as exciting as ever to come. But what's the bigger purpose? That the kid feels, I am entrusted with a mission. HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave me a mission. The mission is to reveal godliness on earth. What we need is that our children should buy into this religion. If it's not something that he aspires to be and to achieve, it's not going to work. The fact is, if you have a goal, if you have a mission in life, then everything else falls by the wayside. But at the end of the day, what we need is a goal, what we need is meaning. Mayan Israel Center is providing that goal, is providing that meaning, is providing the system in which we can operate. It all begins from Simple chinuch. You have to have chinuch the right way. And one example is when you teach, when you teach a little child, you're building the building blocks for what's going to be later on in life. What Mar Tippi and Mar Inti and all the staff does is just make the kids love everything about this guy. We love Mar Tippi, we love, love Mar Inti, and we love everything about these shelters. <laughs> I am just in awe every single day when Michal Drachat comes home. Um, the knowledge that she has. Yiddish Oitzras is taking a chinuch, chinuch which is going to be the basis of your child and has to be carried through. But as much as you can get into it, you are, you're educating the child, you're revealing the soul of the child. Torah, chinuch, reveals the soul of a kid. If done properly, you're going to save the kid all the problems later on in life. If we guide our children from the word go, all the way up, as you're rising higher, you, you'll see their souls get revealed. It starts from the word chinuch. It's a different kind of a chinuch over here. It's a, it's a pnimis dike chinuch. It's a neshama dike chinuch. Then there's the element of a Hebrew school. We have in our neighborhood a charter school. A wonderful place. 
But in terms of Judaism, are the kids getting Yiddishkeit? Are the kids getting a connection to the Yiddishkeit? So we took this charter school and we have every week a Hebrew school with them. We have about 70 kids, Kenayin Hara, who are coming in, boys and girls. We separate them in different areas. And the kids are learning about Yiddishkeit. My Israel in its center gives me the opportunity to, for me and my family to get access to a whole deeper level of Yiddishkeit. The purpose of the center is for kids to grow up in an environment where they have a soul and have a more geschmackheit in what we do in Yiddishkeit. I like coming here. We're very excited that we purchased the building, Baruch Hashem, and this is a momentous achievement. This is a great moment, we feel, to be able to have a groundbreaking dinner. And we need your help. We need your help to make this a reality. We can only do it when people help.